Hi. So we have learned about the innate immunity uh, in, in previous session and uh, now you can uh, understand what kind of innate immune responses are elicited uh, during virus infection. So now I will uh, talk about the innate immune evasion strategies by viruses. Okay. So of course, uh, the pathogen does not want to be detected by the host, right? That is a quite obvious. They, they do not want to die. Okay. So, they develop some strategy in order to evade the immunity and uh, infect the host. So, there are various uh, viral uh, evasion of uh, the innate immune system, various viral evasion strategies or uh, there are some molecules are there which is used for evasion of uh, innate immunity. So, all pathogen virus including virus, it is not only the viruses have a evasion strategy, all, all pathogen they have a strategy, okay. they encode some uh, factor to counteract uh, the induction signaling and anti pathogen effector functions. So, Overall, the meaning is that they have, they make uh, some protein, some molecules, some method by which they can evade the host defense mechanism irrespective of innate or adaptive. Okay. So, viruses uh, employ the distinct molecule to achieve uh, blockage of antiviral effect of type 1 interferon. So, you know that uh, the type 1 interferon is very pivotal in checking the viral replication. Okay. So, uh, particularly in innate immunity, right? So, this is very important to check the uh, viral uh, replication. Okay. So, this type 1 interferon is doing that job. So, the virus must have uh, developed some way to evade this interferon. And these, uh, these, uh, there are several uh, ways by which uh, uh, they do this thing, they evade the type 1 interferon effects. First is that uh, there is a global inhibition of uh, uh, cellular gene expression. Okay. So, there is a global inhibition of cell gene expression. If you remember uh, the type 1 uh, interferon, they basically suppresses the uh, host cellular machinery. Okay. Evasion from innate recognition. Okay. So, if, uh, uh, so they can, they can make a strategy by which uh, they can not be sensed by pattern recognition receptor. Okay. Inhibition of a molecule involved in a type 1 interferon uh, induction pathway or signaling pathway. So, here there are two major ways by which type 1 interferon is produced. One is PRR mediated production of type 1 interferon and another is this the small amount of type 1 interferon which is produced. This is uh, this, this is produced and then this will bind with interferon receptors and then that will trigger the jack stat pathway and that jack stat pathway produce a huge amount of uh, type 1 interferon okay so this uh, more amount of type 1 interferon is basically uh, important in checking the viral replication so viruses have uh, some strategy or they have uh, some molecule or some protein which they can use it to inhibit this prr mediated interferon production as well as they can inhibit the uh, jack stat pathway okay there is a strategy that uh, inactivation of the interferon induced effector molecule okay so you know that once the interferon is produced then there will be interferon inducible gene so uh, some viruses have a strategy to inactivate this interferon inducible genes okay, or effector molecules. Okay. So, this is quite busy slide and here I am just uh, uh, highlighting the cytoplasmic uh, helicases. Here you can see that there is a Rigi and MDFI. 
you can you can you can see that this rig i and mdf 5 mediated uh, uh, sensing can be inhibited by there are so many viruses here you can see that rsv uh, mpv okay gtov june mac there are so many viruses and uh, uh, they basically inhibit the sensing okay this is true for rig i and this is true for mdf5 okay there are molecules from viruses which uh, basically inhibit the uh, mavs or ips1 okay there are molecules which uh, basically inhibit the tbk1 or ikk epsilon okay so like that there are so many proteins uh, or so many molecules from different viruses which basically inhibit the prr mediated type 1 interferon production okay here you can see that uh, there are several viral factor or protein which basically inhibit the tlr mediated uh, uh, immune uh, innate immune responses or antiviral responses here you can see that hca uh, hcv virus uh, they have uh, some non structural protein which basically inhibit this TLR3 mediated signaling pathway like that there are so many molecules okay and all these molecules the basic aim is to inhibit the production of type 1 interferon okay so uh, and and they are acting at different stages it is not that only one one uh, there is only one target so different viruses have a different target some uh, some targets the receptor, some target adapter, some target some signaling uh, transducer and some are targeting the transcription factor also. Here you can see that uh, IRF3 is uh, targeted by so many protein from different viruses. Okay. So, overall aim of uh, 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 the virus is to inhibit this uh, production of type 1 interferon as well as inflammatory cytokine okay here you can see that uh, uh, there is a jack stat pathway okay here you can see that uh, there is a interferon receptor okay and this interferon receptor is basically uh, uh, is uh, is producing uh, after binding with uh, type 1 interferon it is producing more amount of type 1 interferon okay so here you can see that the uh, the receptor itself is targeted by some viral factor like uh, uh, there is a protein uh, that is uh, here you can see that it is derived from vsv uh, uh, sorry uh, vaccinia virus okay not vsv and that is uh, targeting the uh, the receptor then that is uh, downstream th there are some protein which is targeting the uh, some some of the adapter molecule okay or downstream transducer so there are so many proteins which is uh, basically targeting one or another protein or receptor adapter transducer or transcription factor and overall aim is to shut down the production of uh, innate antiviral state when i say innate antiviral state it means that uh, these viruses basically uh, shutting down the pro inflammatory cytokine production and they are shutting down the type 1 interferon okay so here i just uh, gave you the glimpse of uh, uh, how the viral uh, virus or viral factor can evade the antiviral innate immune system okay and just for your note you need not to remember all these protein here just i wanted to show the uh, importance of a viral factor which is basically uh, used to evade the host innate immune responses so with this i will uh, just uh, complete this session and in next session we will discuss about the uh, the uh, adaptive uh, how the adaptive immunity check the uh, viral infection okay over there mainly i will talk about the uh, antibodies and uh, cytotoxic uh, uh, t cells and t 
TH cells. Okay. With this, uh, I will stop and we will discuss in next session. Thank you.